here we are again, living room training. If you have not joined in yet, why have you not joined in yet? Why are you not doing this? If you're one of those people that are going to the gym, incline on, magazine, or on the bike, just sauntering along, just going, well, I go to the gym, I'm all right, I'm cool. Stop, give me one week of your life, come and train with me for one week. Come and see how much harder you're gonna push. Come and see how much faster you're gonna get. Come and try the fit test. Give me one week, try the fit test again. I promise you, you will see an improvement. Today, beginners, intermediate, and advanced. You pick your level, you do the workout, you push as hard as you can. You see a difference. Are we ready? This is a beginner workout. Are you ready, beginners? We're gonna start off with a bit of a warm up, then we're gonna go straight into it, and we're gonna push really hard. For those of you that are only just starting with, with us today, don't worry, I'm gonna talk you through every exercise, it's gonna be fine, you're gonna be okay, you're gonna make it through to the end, I promise you, there's nothing to be scared of. Just go and put some trainers on, come back in the living room, and we're gonna do a bit of a workout together, and you're gonna feel amazing by 12 minutes. In 12 minutes time, you're gonna feel amazing, I promise. So go and do it, and come back, quickly. Don't stop, just go and get them and come back straight back here, okay? See you in a minute. Okay beginners, so this is our workout for today. We're gonna to set our interval timer for 50 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. If 10 seconds is too short for you, set your timer for a longer rest period. Okay, are we ready? I'm gonna talk you through every single exercise, so don't you worry. So let's set our timers going. 50 seconds. So you got a 10 seconds start. Oh, it feels like forever, but it's not. <laughs> are we ready? Okay beginners, I'm sweating, I've just done that workout. You're gonna feel amazing after this workout, it's gonna make you feel so good. So, what did we do? We started off with squat jumps. Here's how it looks. So, feet hip distance apart, all you're gonna do is touch the floor, making sure your knees don't come over your toes, and jump up, and that's it. Squat jump, jump as high as you can. The higher you jump, the, the more you're gonna push your heart rate, the more you're gonna burn, the, the harder it's gonna get. So, less impact is this one. Very important, pull in your core, do as many as you can, have a rest if you need a rest, and then just join back in when you're ready, okay? So that's your first exercise. Okay, next exercise, we did some push-ups with some hovering hands, are you ready? So, getting yourself on the floor, this is how I did it. Straight body line, core nice and tight. One press up, go to the floor. Then take your hands off, hover them for a couple of seconds, and then lift yourself back up. Nice straight body line, making sure that you're not arching your back. So that's how I did it. Here's your modification. On your knees, go down. <sighs> Lift your hands, come up. <sighs> as many as you can. Yes, you may be only able to do one. You might only be able to do two. But I promise you, you're gonna get better and it's gonna get easier. And before you know it, you're gonna be 50 seconds smashing them out. So give it a go, do as many as you can, and let me know what your scores were and let me know how you found that, okay? Get them fingers hovering. <laughs> Next exercise, let's get some abs in. Are we ready? You're gonna need your dip station or you're gonna need anything that you're using as your dip station. Um, so your chairs or your counters or your kitchen tables or whatever you've been posting that are genius ideas. Go and get them, go to them. This is what the next exercise is. So, using your dip station, nice straight body line. You're gonna lift your knees up, engage your core, take it back down. If you touch the floor, it's a lot easier. If you want to do one leg, by all means you can. 
I did it with my feet off the floor, lift up, take it back down. Make sure that your abs are tight, your core's nice and strong to support your back. Do as many as you can, write down your scores, tell me what they were, I want to know. Okay, last one, leg death, lunges. I use a ball, you do not have to use a ball, I'm going to show you a modification, so don't you worry. So, holding your ugly ball, lunge forward, lunge down, take the ball out to the side, and with the leg that's forward, that's the side you're going to twist. So twist, head, upper body, come back, bring it back to your chest, step back. So lunge, turn, bring it back. Lunge, turn, bring it back. You're going to do 50 seconds on one leg and 50 seconds on the other leg. So it's two separate legs. For those of you that don't want to use a weight, you're going to lunge forward, twist, bring it back. Lunge forward, twist, and bring it back. That's your modification. So that's it. They're all your exercises. There are no reasons why everybody can't get involved in this. So go away, give it a go. Let me know what your scores were. I want you to smash it. I want you to do the best you can. Get your music on. Just give it a go. Okay, so beginners, this is your ab bonus. Three exercises. You're going to set your timer for 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. You're going to do 50 seconds work with a 10 second rest. Here's your first exercise. So, sitting nice and tall, you're going to do a tuck out. So, you're going to leave your feet here, nice strong body line, flat back. Lift your legs in, take it back out. Lift up, take it back out. Lift up, take it back out. That's what you're going to do for 50 seconds, okay? If this is too hard, just do one leg at a time. Okay? That's your first exercise. Your second exercise is a reverse crunch. So, down on the floor, legs together. You're going to lift your feet to the ceiling. Not this. I don't want to see this. This is not a crunch. This is a roll. <laughs> this has never been a crunch. You're going to lie flat, abs engaged. Lift your feet up to the ceiling. Bring it back down. Lift up. Engage those lower abs. Take it back down. Take it back down. The more you bend your legs, the easier it is. Okay? So that's your second exercise. 50 seconds. Do Count as many as you can. Write it down. Do as many as you can. Brilliant. So third exercise, oblique twist. So again, sitting nice and tall. You can use a weight if you wish. You're just going to twist to the side. Leaning back just far enough that you can feel it in the abs. If you want it a little bit harder, if you're a little bit more advanced, just lift your legs. Okay? That's your third exercise. That's going to work those sides. So we've got our abs everywhere. They're being worked. Do as many as you can. Push as hard as you can. And let me know what your scores were. They're your ab bonuses. Enjoy them. Okay, so that was your workout for today. So if you're watching this on YouTube right now and you haven't been to our website bodyrock.tv why haven't you there are an army of people getting fit sharing ideas sharing diet tips losing weight getting fitter getting leaner having fun enjoying their life you know feeling good feeling great doing all of these workouts with loads of modifications beginners advanced intermediates just get yourself on there if you want to make a change if you want somewhere to start I'm on my Facebook every single day, Sean's on his Facebook, we're sharing ideas, we're answering your questions and we are there 100% to help you get to your goals, see a change, make some differences and if that's what you're interested in and that's something you want to get on board then you need to get on the website because we are doing it every single day. You don't need an expensive gym, you don't need an expensive personal trainer, you just need to turn up, you just need to put your trainers on write down the exercises and just give me 12 minutes and that's it and then follow a nice clean diet and I promise you this is where you start to see changes this is where you start to see those small changes that you're going to make every single day make these huge differences and you are going to see it because people are already seeing it and you can read about it on the Facebook today I am talking on my page about motivation and for those of you out there who have gone through January you've you've kept 80% clean, 70% clean on your diet and you've gone through the whole, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm going to get fit, ready for the summer. But February's come and you've kind of fallen off the wagon. 
So I'm talking about that today and what you can do to change your mindset, to get you back on that wagon, to get you in a positive frame of mind and how you can do it and the tips that you can make to get back on and get back on it. So get on my Facebook today, come and say hello to me. I wanna hear you and I wanna speak to you and I wanna know how you feel and I wanna help you. So that's my rant for today. So if you just listen to that two minutes of ranting, well done. So let's join in. Everybody, come and join in. Come and work out with us. It's like the biggest workout class in the world. Come and join it. Changes are happening every day. <laughs>